What are you doing here? Oh, I was just in the neighborhood. Really? God, no. Why would anyone come to this neighborhood except to dump a body? <laughs> Opening night. I'm here to pick up Audrey. Ah, uh, whatever. Maddie, tell your mother that Tinkerbell taxi's here. Aren't you a little old to be a gopher? Uh, I'm not a gopher. I am director of event communications. This very complex and integral job. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, Simon, I picked up the hoagies for the cast party. Goodbye. Hey, Ma, your gopher's here. You know, not that I particularly care to get involved in your personal business. Good. But how come you can't come see your own wife in the show? Hey, when she does a show to raise money for the NRA, I'll be there, front and center. No one needs a gun. Well, maybe not you, and your big house, and your fancy alarm system. But down here in the real world, if there's a problem in this bar, I need the means to protect myself. And nothing makes one feel safer than the heady mix of alcohol, firearms, and Irish tempers. <laughs> Listen, you, without those three things, we'd still be saluting the queen and eating fish out of newspaper like savages. <laughs> Hello, Philip. Thank you for picking me up. I would have driven myself, but Mace will need the car later when he changes his mind about coming down to see me. Honey, the only way you'll get me down there is by gunpoint. And if you guys get your way, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I'll blow you a kiss from backstage. You know, uh, I'll be right there, Audrey. I'm, uh, I'm parked on the corner under the neighborhood watch sign. <laughs> you know, you really should come tonight. When you're married, you're supposed to support your partner regardless. What do you know? Oh, much more than you think. Just so happens I have certain issues with Simon and this show. Uh, it's a long story. You're just pissed because instead of being in it, you're an errand boy. Okay, it's a very short story. <laughs> but the point is, I am showing my support for Simon. And that's what a loving and a caring relationship is all about. Oh, God, Simon, would you take a fistful of pills and just leave me alone? <laughs> Simon! Huh? Break a leg. How do you mean that? <laughs> the right way. You've done a great job. Good luck tonight. Oh, thanks. Uh, Philip, you're wearing a headset. Yep. Is it hooked up to anything? But Simon, wearing this headset is the only perk I have. Simon. Simon, Richard's wife just called. He's got food poisoning. He can't go on tonight. Oh. Well, it wasn't me. Where are we going to find someone to play Black Bart in the next 20 minutes? <laughs> You have a great voice. Why don't you do it? No, I think there's someone here who deserves it more. Philip? Places, everyone. It's showtime. Philip, when you were parking cars, did you see Mace? No, I'm sorry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get into wardrobe. <laughs> She looks so sad. Bobby, when we're married, I don't care what we disagree on. Hey, don't worry. I will always be in that chair. Folks, I got powerful bad news. Black Bart's riding into town. <gasps> As mayor of this trusty town, this rootin' tootin' dusty town, I fear a savior must be found, or we will surely die. We're left here high and dry. Not so fast, mayor. Andy, thank God you're here. Get your gun. Ain't no need to settle our problems with guns. <laughs> Never run with guns, had fun with guns. I've been an army of one with guns, but now, old son, I'm done with guns. I'm learning to talk things out. Learning to talk things, gab yak and squawk things. Learning to talk things out. But, Andy, we need help now. 
Because here comes the baddest, cantankerousest, low downinest varmint of them all, Black Bart! <laughs> <laughs> I missed you at the show. Said I wasn't going. You did what you thought was right, I guess. Well, I guess you did too. I gotta put these in water. What are you singing? Nothing. You're singing my song from the show. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You were there tonight, weren't you? Jeez, they're hearing on you. You hear dog whistles, too? <laughs> All right, fine, I was there. You are very good. Thank you for coming. Yeah, but I got the last laugh. I snuck in the back door. I didn't have to shell out one thin dime to those gun control crazies. You know, they get money from the snack bar, too. Damn that caramel corn! <laughs> 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 